Hello, my name is Vasily Tarasenko, I'm a Russian attorney, and here is the latest news of previous month, September. So first, the government has approved the rule for interaction between taxi ordering services and the Federal Security Service. From September 1, 2022, passenger taxi ordering services will provide the Federal Security Service with 24 hours remote access to information system and database of customer orders. Federal Security Service will be able to obtain information independently via remote access. When this is not possible, information must be provided to the Federal Security Service for urgent requests within three business days. Second news for September, the Ministry of Finance brought the self-prohibition of gambling for public discussion. Persons to the project and individual would have the right to submit to the gambling organizer a request to include themselves in the list of those who refused to participate in them. One would be allowed to apply on a paper in person or electronically through the organizer's website without the possibility to withdraw the document. From the time the organizer receives its bets from the applicant of their word cannot be accepted. The list of those who refused to participate in the gambling games would be maintained by the Unified Regulator of Gambling Public Law Company. The list would not be publicly available. The news number three. The Federal Anti-Monopoly Service warned the largest telecom operators that the ability to distribute the Internet should be free. The agency revealed that operators from the big four largest cellular operators MTS, Megaphone, Beeline and Tele2 had established fees for distributing Internet traffic from mobile devices. And this is an unreasonable imposition of unfavorable conditions on subscribers. The Federal Anti-Monopoly Service indicated that it had issued warnings to the operators. The Bank of Russia extended restrictions on money transfers abroad for another six months. The restrictions will apply from October 1, 2022 to March 21, 2024. They include limits for citizens of Russia and non-residents from friendly countries. 1 million US dollars equivalent to another foreign currency for transfer within a month to any account in foreign banks and 10,000 US dollars equivalent to another foreign currency on money transfer systems. Non-residents who work in Russia can transfer their salary abroad regardless of what country they are from. Organizations from unfriendly countries for Russia and non-residents from these countries not working in Russia are prohibited from making transfers abroad. But the restriction doesn't affect foreign companies under the control of Russia legal entities and individuals. Banks from unfriendly countries can transfer money in rubles through correspondent accounts in Russian credit institutions if, they, if the payer and receipt have accounts opened in foreign banks. The Central Bank of Russia extended restrictions on withdrawals and ban on commissions for six months. The Bank of Russia has maintained limits on the issuance of any foreign currency to individuals and entities in the amount of no more than 10,000 US dollars until March 9, 2024. We are talking about withdrawing money from any account opened before March 9, 2022. The balance can be received in rubles. Next, the ban on banks from charging a fee from individuals when issuing currency from accounts and deposits has been extended. Russia resident organization can also receive travel allowances according to payment standards – US dollars, euro, pounds, Japanese yen. Non-resident entities are not issued cash in these currencies. There are no restrictions on other currencies. Next news. From September 21, 2023, the export of gasoline and diesel fuel is prohibited to stabilize prices. The government of Russia has established a temporary ban on exports from the Russia Federation – commercial gasoline diesel fuel. The measure will be in 
effect for no more than six months. It doesn't affect, for example, goods from export as part of international transit, transportation that begins and ends outside Russia. The ban will help saturate the domestic fuel market, which will reduce prices for consumers. That is all for today and for September. My name is Tarasenko Vasily. Good luck.